Today, I'll just be talking about the Trump tariffs and their impact on the big three console makers, as well as a Steam summer sale and a few VR titles we can expect there. All the links and timestamps you can expect in the description down below as all one of the things that unites us as the core gamer base is we are, we are all going to play on a console of some kind, whether it's the PS4, Xbox One, PC, or the Nintendo Switch. However, in that unity, we're also united in the fact that we hate price increases on our hardware because it makes our hobby slash addiction slash time spender that much more expensive. However, that just may be what we can expect at some point in the future because there is a 25% tariff on video game consoles being proposed at this time. I have at this point already put out a video on what those tariffs would mean on the upcoming consoles, whether it is just a price increase or possibly a launch delay depending on how long the, the tariffs last. While each of the major manufacturers have already spoken individually against them, Microsoft, Nintendo, and Sony have come together to release a joint statement on it. In it, they went over how it would have an enormous impact and cause undue economic harm on the industry. They go on to say that it would have a negative effect on consumers as well as video game developers, retailers, manufacturers put thousands of jobs at risk and stifle innovation in the video games industry. The easiest way I can break down all of that for you is if the consoles launch too high then adoption rates are going to be low. You know simple cost or supply demand price demand curve it, for simple economics. Anyway if adoption rates are too low for the upcoming systems, then there will be less demand for the software that would be ported to them. If there is less demand, then many developers wouldn't be able to, well, develop new software for the new systems. With less software being on the market, the publishers like EA and Activision would try to monetize whatever else they could in, in order to get the money back that they would be losing in this lost or missing transaction. That in itself would stifle innovation in the video games industry because it's pushing more and more loot boxes in our friggin faces. Thus releasing a negative impact on us as consumers. With less video games on the market retailers are going to be selling less games and obviously they're going to be making less money as a result. So that's just about everything that is explained there. Lower console demands are going to spread across the entire industry and if that's the case GameStop is going to die that much faster. One of the other things that they go on to say is, quote, while we appreciate the administration's efforts to protect U.S. intellectual property and preserve U.S. high-tech leadership, the disproportionate harm caused by these tariffs to U.S. consumers and businesses will undermine, not advance, these goals. They go on to request that video game consoles not be included in the tariffs, assuming they take effect. So hopefully, we're able to see a good quality, well, lack of tariffs in the near future. Next up, we have the Steam Summer Sale. It's going to give you quite a few different options here. Now, first up, we have the Steam VR Essentials Bundle, which is going to give you about eight of everybody's favorite games for just $93 giving you Space Pirate Trainer, Job Simulator, Thumper, Budget Cuts, Sirento, Gorn, Super Hot VR, and Arizona Sunshine. All for $93. That link you can find in the description down below. And also included as part of this list, we have quite a few options if you're just getting started in VR and 
don't quite know what to start off with. First off, we have Accounting Plus, which is going to be on sale for $4.79. We have Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. This one is more of a, a couch co-op thing, where one person wears a headset, another person doesn't, and the one that doesn't guides the one who does through disarming a bomb. Thumper, you can find for $4.99. This one is going to be a rhythm-based game where you try to avoid obstacles and stuff. We have Payday 2 Ultimate Edition for $5.48. In this one, it's a lot like GTA. So, do try to keep your wits about you. We have Pavlov in VR. I've never really played that one, so I can't really give you a synopsis or anything right now. We have Space Pirate Trainer for $8.99. Once again, never played it. I can't really give you a synopsis. We have Dirt Rally. This one is, well, obviously it's a driving game. You can get that one for $7.99. We have In Death. This one is more of an arena style combat type situation. It's going to run you $8.99. You have Abduction. It's going to run you $8.99. Once again, I can't give you a good synopsis or story or anything like that. We have The Forest for $11.99. Once again, no synopsis. Star Trek Bridge Crew. You'll kind of be doing what the name suggests. You'll be leading a starship through space. This one is going to run you $12 as opposed to the normal $40. Duck Season, going to run you $12.99 as opposed to the normal $20. You'll basically hunting. Arizona Sunshine, everybody's favorite zombie sim for $14.79. You have Space Junkies for $14.79. Super Hot VR, ah, I love that game. Time stops, moves when you do, and you're basically trying to kill all the red guys, even though the red guys are you, and kind of, they're, they're trying to protect you or kill you, I, I, I can't really tell. We have Gorn. That one is more of a, a playful arena style combat type situation. You have Budget Cuts, $14.99. That one is going to. Oh, excuse me. So, can't really give you too much of a synopsis because I haven't really played it that much. Job Simulator is pretending what jobs are going to be like in 2050 from a robot eye. Rick and Morty Virtual Rickality. $14.99. I can give you a synopsis, but frankly, at this point, if, if you haven't seen videos about it by now, you're doing yourself a disservice. You have Project Cars 2. That one is going to run you $14.99. As the name suggests, it's kind of a racing game. You have Onward for $14.99. Can't really never played it so I can't really give you a synopsis you have Doom VFR that one is going to run you $14.99 who, who doesn't want to kill demons in VR I mean really $14.99 Mage's Tale $14.99 it, it's not a bad deal you have Raw Data for $15.99 Crow Team VR Bundle $16.99 Wait, come to think of it, what's what's in that bundle? Do 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 do. So by the looks of it, what's in the Crow Team VR bundle? You have the Last Hope, the Talos Principle in VR, Serious Sam, the first encounter, the second encounter, and Serious Sam three in VR. That's everything you get in Crow Team VR. Normally, it runs you about $200, but you're able to get it as part of the sale for $16.95. J just picture that for a second. Five or six games, $16.95. Not a bad deal if you ask me. Yeah, five games, $16.95. You have Subnautica. That one's going to run you 
I expect you to die. Everybody's spot, everybody's favorite spy sim. 1749, as part of the Steam Summer Sim. You have Elite Dangerous Commander Deluxe Edition for 1799. You have Creed Rise to Glory in 1799. You have Box VR for 1949. If you're gonna box, your better bet would be to go Creed because there's actually a PvP mode in that one, and you're probably gonna work up more of a sweat playing Creed than you are in box VR. But that's that's just my personal preference. You have Moss for 1979. That one's kind of a platformer, so chances are you'll enjoy it. You have Sirento VR. That one's kind of a, a ninja game in VR. Ninjas, VR, it's a great mix. You have Windlands 2, 2249. Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim in VR, $29.99. Fallout 4, $29.99. And X Plane 11, $39.59 as compared to $59.99. So those are all most probably of the games that you can find on sale for the Steam Summer Sale. A lot of which you can find for less than $15 or heavily discounted at the very least. So something to look forward to. There is one more thing I'd like to talk about but rather than giving it a full story due to YouTube's content policies, let's say. Um, I am just going to provide the link to the story I found in the description down below and you guys can check it out for yourself. If you guys are still here, don't forget to check out my next video when I'll be going over the first signs that Borderlands 2 in VR is going to be coming to PC VR. If you liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible human being for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.